Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. Today is going to be a little bit of everything. So I've combined a few different days into one video. I'm going to start here with what I've been doing to catch you guys up. I am at my parents' house right now. The girls are at school. I thought I would show you a little bit closer look at what I've been working on. Sorry to keep plugging this, but if you are not over on my Instagram or on my other channel, my cleaning slash makeover channel, for the past couple weeks I've been working on something pretty big over here at my parents' house. It all started like a month ago. My parents were talking about really needing to replace the mattress in their guest room, which is my old bedroom where I grew up. Went through my awkward teen years here. When they were talking about that. I was thinking, you know what? I think I could help you guys out. I kind of had this thing where it was like, if you give me a mattress I end up doing an entire room makeover it was a, if you give a mouse a cookie I don't know <laughs> just all kind of snowballed from the mattress so I reached out to my friends at Lowell and they said they'd love to be a part of it and I want to say thank you to them for sponsoring today's video I will link the full makeover down below but today I want to show you a little bit more of the details in the room and talk about the mattress Mattresses. I love them. We trust them. When we were talking about the kind of mattresses that my parents wanted, I knew this one specifically would be so easy and so perfect for this room. What I love about Lowell is that they ship directly to your door. They make it so easy. It's a high quality mattress that comes in a box wrapped up straight to your door. You don't have to figure out how to get to your house. It is free shipping. It might seem a little crazy to buy a mattress online, but I think it's the only way to go. I've transported mattresses before and I'm not doing that anymore. The nice thing about this is they have a 100 night trial. So you can try it for 100 nights. If it's not your thing, you get to return it for free. So like I said, free shipping and free return. So in my opinion, this mattress is the perfect amount of comfort, but you still feel supported. That's one of the reasons I recommended it to my parents. My sister and her husband stayed here the other night and they said this was amazing. If you felt the mattress that used to be in this room, you would be completely shocked. It was like a rock, but it it sucked you in and you could not get out of it. This mattress is nothing like it. It even has a cooling gel infused layer in it. Sometimes this room gets a little bit warmer in the summer, so I wanted something that could kind of keep you cooler at night. So Lola's is awesome. They also sent along pillows and the sheet set. Very surprised by the sheet set. Very comfortable. And I thought this was the perfect gray for this room. It matched so well. So <laughs> the pillows that they sent along were supposed to be for this room, but I tried them out and I loved them so much that I was like, mom, can I please use these in my own house? Because my pillow is absolute mush compared to the lol pillow. And I have never loved a pillow more than my lol pillow. I um, am such a picky pillow person. That's <laughs> such a phrase. I'm such a picky pillow person. And this has been the best pillow. Now that I have stolen the pillows from this room, I told my mom that I would get her one for her birthday because she felt it and she was just shocked at how awesome it is. So if you want to know more about Lowell, if you want to try it out, if you check out my link in the description, you can get $150 off of your Lowell. And if you want to send me any questions, I'd love to answer them for you. The fact that you can actually stay in here comfortably was the point of the room and is the best part. So thank you again to Lowell for sponsoring today's video. But now I'm gonna give you a little bit closer look at the rest of the room. Oh, by the way, if this is not interesting to you, you can go ahead and skip to the rest of the vlog. I just got a lot of messages on Instagram about more details of the room. And I thought it'd be fun to kind of show more of the behind the scenes over here and answer some of the questions that I didn't get to my video. So over off the wall, there's this little entryway table that I built. I thought it would be nice because when people walk in, they can drop their keys and stuff. And I did it based on, um, one of my favorite Instagrammers. She built a desk at her house. I did the same plan as her, but I went thinner so that it's an entryway table and I painted the legs black. It'd be nice to have the black legs here since our frame of our bed is black. Some personal touches. Here's my sister and her husband. This is the other rug that we were between for our living room and don't get me wrong, I love how this looks in our living room. I was just worried that it would be too much dark and I love the way that this vintage kind of rug looks with the green wall. I think it's so perfect. It's the same company as our couch and I like this little element of seating that we've got over here with the lamp. One of the big things that I wanted to do in this room and I think that makes the biggest difference was raising the curtains up and changing the blinds. I actually put these shades up. Let me show you guys a little closer. They're like an accordion style that you can pull down and pull back and push back up. They're fabric. 
And I love the way that they filter the light in. They're not blocking all the light. They make it almost brighter in this room just how they um, filter the light. Mirror might be the best part of the room because just look at it, it's so beautiful. It looks so good against the green and the vintage and everything. The wall, obviously a big feature in this room. This is the color that I wanted to put in our bedroom at our house, but Nick is not a fan of green, so I couldn't do that. I thought, let me get it out of my system here, and my parents love it, and I'm really glad we got to put it in this room. This is this headboard I thrifted, I found at this salvage shop for $30. It was new in the box, it had been returned to the store, and the salvage shop has a lot of returns like that. These little like end tables were in the room before. They were stools with backs, and my dad cut them down and made them just these stools. And then I ended up changing the top color to go in here, but We've kind of we've got these puck lights up in here that kind of like highlight whatever's hanging out on the end table. If you're in here at night and you've got the lights off, it's nice to just have this little touch puck light up here. Then we've got some artwork on the wall to tie it all together. Last but not least, this was not in my video. My dad wanted a really big mirror in here. I'm gonna spray this, I think, to match this. I didn't have time in my video and I really liked the clean look of having nothing there. And that's why I left some space too so they could obviously add in whatever they wanted to personally do. It's trash day I guess. I am obsessed with just coming in here and looking. This wall it makes it feel like a little hotel and I love that I could do that for my parents and hopefully I'll actually get to stay in here one day. This is what I've been up to over here. Sometimes I feel like I'm ending these like a newscaster. Now let's go over to me at my house with what I've been up to over there. Good morning guys, I'm hanging out in our brand new living room. I'll link the full living room makeover video. <laughs> what are you doing? You being a little turtle? You look like a turtle. I will link our full living room makeover video down below if you missed it and want to check it out. I did add this new chair into the mix though. This is probably one of my favorite parts, so pretty. Anyway, Em and I are playing pom-poms and animals right now. Charlie is off at school. We are over here weighing things, see if we can get the buckets to balance see what objects weigh more than the other ones. We've got green pom-poms versus pink pom-poms. Hmm. Which bucket has more pom-poms in it? Mine. The pink one? I was just telling Nick how it's really weird to have one child. I'm used to having no kids and getting things done or having both kids. But only having one is very rare. I feel like both the girls are a little bit different when it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Where did you have? A little less chaotic. Camel. Camel. What's this one? Um, I don't know. That's a meerkat. Um, I know. Thought today I would show you a little bit behind the scenes. I guess it's more of a day in life. What's been going on? The Mommy. rooms that I've been working on. Some of the girls' reactions to things. Em, I got a question for you. Are you excited about Halloween? <laughs> Every time. I wear my bell dress on Halloween. You want to be? You want to be Bell for Halloween? Yeah. Um, Every morning when Emmy wakes up now, she asks me if it's Halloween and if it's trick-or-treating time yet. I don't know what that's going to be like this year, so I'm hoping... I'm hoping it's that there's... Not yet! Not yet. I'm hoping there's something um, that we can do this year. you know what this weekend is, though? Yeah! What is this weekend? Um, Charlie's birthday. Charlie's birthday! How old right is... Now? Not yet. On... Sunday is her birthday, but her party's on Saturday, and then she's got another one on Sunday. How old is she gonna be? Do you know? Two. Two? How old are you? Um, three. Oh, so you guys are gonna be close. I'm almost four on my birthday. You're almost four? Yeah. Emmy will be four in March. Plan for today, though, I think we're going to maybe prep a little bit for Char's birthday. Emmy said she wanted to help me wrap presents later. When I hang around here, I thought, let's play all the things that are kind of hard to play with Charlie. Things for an older bean. I made a Christmas tree. Waiting to see what Emmy's making. I'm making a mouth. You're making a mouth? With a smiley. Oh, a smiley face mouth? Why are you laying down like me? I really want
so sad. They are all sold out of all the apple sp apple cider spray. They do have the acorn spice, which I liked last year, but now I've smelled it too much and I'm really wishing they had the apple cider. Grab some more tissues, because it's tissue season. I did find an apple cider candle. And then for Charlie's birthday party, I've got a couple Elsa things. We're not going crazy, but we need a few of her favorites. The famous Target Hearth and Hand Fall section. It's not that full at our Target. They're missing so many shelves. I'm pretty disappointed in our Target's fall section. I'm gonna look at Home Goods because I know they'll have a few of the things I'm thinking of. They really don't have much here though. So we are in the toy section. Emmy's gonna pick. Whoa. Emmy, you get to pick one present from you that you think Charlie would like. There's a lot of cool things in this section. My birthday. Okay, well, we'll put that on your list. Looks like Target has stepped up their game and they have a lot of the brands that I used to shop for online. They never had any of this stuff last year. Matt Builders, oh, this is a great one. Charlie's a little bit old for that. All right, Em, why don't you look up here? Charlie would like a dinosaur, to be honest. Hey, this is on my Amazon list. I love that they added all these things here. Some of them are on clearance. So I want you to think about what would Charlie like and that's gonna be the present that you give her. It's from you. Charlie's birthday is unique because we are actually doing like two little parties for her. One with my family and then one with Nick's side of the family just to keep everyone separated. So on the first time, I think we're gonna do kind of frozen, her frozen birthday cake and um, Elsa and Anna. And then the next day, her other favorite thing will be Peppa Pig. So we're kind of thinking something along the lines of Peppa that could go along with her cake. Although Emmy's having an interesting time playing with that. Sissy! I went to get Charlie and the first thing she says, I want to go see Emmy. Happy fall, friends. Almost exactly like it was two years ago. This is the weekend that it is switching over to fall here. Um, Charlie Jane, it is a beautiful 64 outside, so the girls and I are about to go look at some pumpkin candles at the store to get them burning for Charlie's birthday party this weekend. She doesn't want to be a part of this, but I cannot believe it. My Charlie girl is turning two years old. I don't know how that's possible. Two years old on Sunday. So we are kind of breaking up her party. We are having my family celebrate with Charlie on Saturday, and then Nick's family is coming over to celebrate on Sunday. How old are you gonna be? Two! Say, I'm two. I'm two. You're two? Yeah. No way! That's so big. Yeah. Okay, too big to get in the stroller maybe? Yeah. Not too big? I think it's too big to get in the stroller. Yeah. <laughs> Actually watch. I'll go get Hyper and put him in there. That's a good idea. Do you need help with him? Okay, let's go get him. Here, can you tell me? Can you show me where he is? Take me to him. She calls her teddy bear Eddie Bear. She like often drops the first letter of things and teddy bear became Eddie Bear. Oh, I see him. You threw him out of your crib. He's right there. There he is. There you go. Then you can take Eddie Bear out for a stroll. Okay. Have fun, Eddie Bear. Bye. Bye. Love you. Hey. <laughs> like I was saying, I actually rewatched Emmy's second birthday video yesterday just to kind of compare the girls in my mind. I'll link that video down below if you want to go do that. Just wild. Time is wild. I'm going to take you guys with us. We're going to go look at pumpkin candles. <laughs> Emmy, she's actually watching a pumpkin video right now. We're going full fall. We're ready now. This is the change. We are not going back. No summer for us. No, thank you. After the candles, the girls will come take naps and then we're going to go over to Grammy's house and um, we have two cakes we're making. One for Saturday, one for Sunday. Hey Em, what are you doing? I'll show you what I have to go on and in them. Sneak into the closet where I've been hiding Charlie's presents. I kept all of her presents up yesterday. So in here I've got 
Anna and Elsa. She's trying to come in here right now. Um, and we're making, the, the Elsa cake is gonna be like a raspberry, white chocolate or raspberry, some sort of white cake. And then we're gonna put the dolls in there. It's gonna be the bottom of the dress. I don't want her to see it. And then for the Peppa cake, I'm gonna get some little Peppa figure, figures that we have and I'll show you guys. I've got a vlog exporting right now. I'm waiting for this to finish up before we leave. This is actually going up on this channel. I've been doing a lot lately over on my other channel, my cleaning channel slash makeover channel, and I know I mention that every time, but if you're ever wondering where I am, I'm probably uploading over there. It just takes a lot of work, so I'm usually slacking somewhere, but I'm really, really proud of what I've been doing over there. I actually just posted a complete room makeover of my parents' guest room. It was my old bedroom in their house. I'm so proud of that video, so if you wanna see it, you can go over there and find it. I think I'm gonna try to do for the next few weeks and test it out is to keep vlogs on this channel a lot more simple, just really just like cut together raw vlogs like this because then I'm actually able to get them done pretty quickly and still get my work done. I basically started a second job and I just have so much to do, which is why I'm so thankful. The girls are in school now, I can get a little bit more done on Tuesdays and Thursdays now. I organized the heck out of our playroom area the other day so now i know where exactly where everything is this is actually should not be in there okay what the heck emerson wants to feed her baby before we go that's important we all need a little snack every once in a while let's wrap her up so she's warm and cuddly for her for her snack okay okay oh she's sleeping i think she's sleeping him do you like him can you give her a kiss on her head Have a good nap, Bambel. <laughs> you guys are the sweetest. Breaking my heart. You have a turn next, okay? Yes, you can have her next, okay? It's Emmy's turn right now. <gasps> She's awake! <gasps> Say good morning, Annabelle! Good morning. Good morning.